Hi everyone, I am Pranay. I am a computer scientist at Adobe Systems, and this talk is this talk is just about the uh, general techniques and approaches which should be followed while uh, implementing a event dispatcher in C++. So let's go through these step by step. Um, in the most implementations of observer pattern or the pub sub patterns, there is a usual problem which is known as the lapsed listener problem. So this requires the uh, deregistration explicitly to be done uh, from the uh, observer side. Uh, as in the typical dispose pattern paradigm. Leak happens uh, when the observer is once done, it uh, fails to deregister itself for because of some reason. And uh, consequently, when the subject has a uh, strong reference of the observer, so it prevents uh, the observer from being garbage collected properly. The common mechanism to prevent uh, this is that a subject should hold a weak reference, uh, thus allowing the garbage collection to proceed properly. Uh, so in theory, if you have a weak pointer, and of the of the observer and doing a lazy cleanup upon the event invocation that should allow uh, that should allow the garbage collection to proceed properly and should solve this problem so this solution uh, the naive solution should look something along the lines of this so as you can see m observers is holding a vector of weak pointer of observers uh, this is a basic example and a complex example is m callbacks where you have a map of the uh, weak pointers versus their set of registered callbacks so this simple notifier should look something like this. So you are removing the uh, dead observers and then firing off the notifications. Or you can even merge these two operations uh, and uh, using iterator based loops. Please uh, don't jump. I mean, <laughs> if required, you can have raw, raw loops. I, I believe that at least. And uh, so you can erase and update simultaneously. But there is a certain problem here. Uh, so do you see the problem? The problem is that what if observer tries to update you while being notified? So the problem is that uh, if, if in the notification call that you fetched, the observer tries to uh, uh, try something that ends up in modifying your data members which were holding the callbacks and the observer information, you might end up in a crash or even a deadlock. The core of the problem is with the reentrancy here. You should never ever leave control of your code while holding a lock. So, uh, as a rule, you cannot ever control the uh, external world actions. So this should never be done. There are certain fixes which can be tried and uh, which are te go uh, common techniques that should be followed. First is the copy uh, copy and broadcast mechanism. So you should always fire off the notifications from a copied list. And uh, while making the copy, you should remove the dead observers from the source. This fix should look something like, uh, so you are having a copy uh, and while, while copying, you're removing the dead observers, which are gone, and then firing off the callbacks from this copied list. A good approach, uh, I mean, in, in my opinion, it's a very, very better approach uh, than this, uh, the previous one, but it requires a more lot of work. Uh, that is that you should maintain a non-blocking log-free task queue that should support add, remove, and notify operations. Or in case your event handlers are taking a good amount of time, you should also consider launching them all at once so that each uh, observer can be notified in their own thread that can be joined later and or even you should consider an executor mechanism. Again, these are just a few techniques that I've come across uh, in the development uh, in, uh, while, having, while having my experience in Adobe. So if you have a better example, please uh, feel free to suggest. Thank you.